I gotta take the long way out. Aim. Such a bully. I mean no offense, Thane. You're only a hefty ransom to me. Nothing more. Kill me men for a purse of grubby coin? You have no honor. Enough. Or I'll return you to the Saxons with ten fewer fingers. I get the fear I'm gonna get betrayed. Had that the last hand off. Oh. <clears throat> you there, heathens. Let this good man go, or suffer an iron sickness. And what do you offer us in return? Your lives? We lost many good men storming this keep. It will not be in vain, Christ's slave. Twenty chests of silver. Give them all they ask, Kinnebert. A hefty sum that will leave God's coffers hollow. I cannot give it up without some assurance. Tedmund, you extort me in return for my life? You were swiftly met, Abbot. Not long after these... these scallious worms took my fort. On the Lord's bidding, Tedmund, at prayer, a terrible vision befell me. A host of heathens, your life in danger. A coincidence I find rather... <coughs> Rather ominous, Abbot. Mm. Do you? <coughs> God help you, man. Bells Are you well? <laughs> uh, I need, I need air. Oh shit. Um. Having a heart attack. He's dead. The work of poison, no doubt. No, no, Who the hell no, poisoned no, no. him? Rouse the man. He cannot be dead. He must not be dead. Poison? How does the man die of poison in our arms? Many great kings and paranoids have carried poison in times of war as an alternative to capture and ransom. A catastrophe. Alfred will choose another and... By the saints! Alfred! How will I explain this to the king? We followed this road to its end, Cunebert. You may not like where it led, but you owe us our half of the bargain. You shall have your paladin. I need a day. Return to my abbey tomorrow, and you shall... Oh, dear, oh dear. These delays are grinding at my bones. We should abandon Cunebert. Find full care ourselves. Peace, Eivor. Speak with I'm Eivor worried that Bassam killed this host. guy. I'll meet you at Cunebert's abbey. I don't know why he would have. Hmm. Giedrich? You fought like beasts, escaped from your hell today, Giedrich. Your oath to me is fulfilled. It was good to stand shoulder to shoulder with you against the pox dogs of Wessex. May our friendship endure. This tangle briar of Christians and lords means nothing to me. I'm here for Sigurd. I understand. When you find him again, come see me. We'll feast and sing with mead and friendship to warm us. Agreed. This area's off limits. Damn, a lot of arrows. Boom. Level up. Um. Light shields. Don't use light shields. That's you point this to me. Oh, bearded axes, there. Be five stun. Yeah, more crit chance. Of... Yeah. So what am we going for next? Both our axes are bearded axes. Mm -mm -mm. sell some of these fish that we have. Back to the Abbey. Oh, that's Canterbury there. Okay. Oh, I need to head to Canterbury. Lots to do there. Go!
Yeah. All right, let's go talk to uh, what's his face at the Abbey. Yeah, I don't think he took poison himself. That's the thing, because the way he started acting. It's too quiet here. Where are the brothers or the Abbot's men? Oh, this is a trap. I would say well met, brother, but I cannot shake off the needle itch of dread. Is something wrong? I followed the abbot here, kept him in my sight. But the monks, his servants, I have seen nothing of them. Dead? I do not think so. But there is no good here in this grave hush. And where is the abbot now? In his quarters. Come, and be on your guard. Okay. Does this have the stench of betrayal to you? Why would the godly shepherd ally with the heretic? Kunabad is a man who craves power and position. With Tetman dead, he must find it somewhere else. There is truth in that. Keep your eyes and blade sharp. Might find it with the uh, Paladin Fulke. Oh, let's see what happens. Oh, hey, Fulke. Kunabad, your guests have arrived. Well, I think he's dead. Come. Supper's ready. The dear abbot sent me a warm invitation, said my friends were eager to meet with me. It's early for supper, I know. But Kinnabert's L goes so well with roasted lamb and cinnamon blueberry peas. I couldn't resist. Where is my brother? Is he... is he not here? Mon Dieu. I never told him. Kill her, and we'll never find Sigurd. Sit, Ava. Eat. And let me tell you the tale of a man who talks with gods. You mock me. I've killed for much less. Of course you have. Isn't that the way of this ugly world? We call the sheep and thin the flock as we see fit, you and I. He's stalling. Most who walk the earth are little more than talking blood bladders, wasted flesh. But not Sigurd. Sigurd is something else. Sigurd has been touched. He is deified. The gods, they speak through him. You lured him in with that lie. Your words are bile and blight. You should have listened, Avar. I tried to tell you. The gods are real, and their power is within our grasp. <laughs> you will never nice reflexes. find him. Not till I have had my fill. To old friends. This really is delicious, Kinnabert. Is it cloves I taste? Well, that concludes supper. Kill them, and bring their bodies to my sanctum in Canterbury. Oh! Well, I want to go to Canterbury. They will be upon us soon. Maybe there is another way out. Maybe the ladder next to you? Secret ale recipe. Could have taken a leap of a faith, you know? That's kind of what your whole order does. Full K let slip that her sanctum is at Canterbury. She did. And with no cause. I'd approach the place with caution. It may be a lie. It may be. But it's the only lead we have. I hope all this innocent sacrifice is worth the trouble. It's Sigurd, my brother. Of course it is. Then come. Let us dive into the maw of death. I was never keen on seeing my winter years. Huh. Okay. This will not be for nothing, Eivor. We will find Sigurd. Gonna it's not just him. I want Fulke to suffer. The long ride to Canterbury, my man. You're gonna leg it? Go! No! Is 
There's a horse right there. Boy. This land of summer, mists and forests, <gasps> dreaming darkly. I see secrets, and I want to know England, all of it. And yet it rounds on us at every turn, snarling like a cornered dog. I begin to despair of ever settling here. Perhaps the stars write your path, and you will never have a home here. Do you miss the land of your birth? I have long been away, but it is fiercely beautiful beneath the vanity, arrogance, and pettiness of men. I should like to see it. You could if you wish. My father was an architect, a builder of wonders. Okay. The great mosque of Samara, his masterpiece. Another man. Oh. Who played the... One second. For some reason, Streamlabs just shut itself down, uh, the game PC. I don't know why it does that sometimes. Rare, luckily. But occasionally it doesn't like to be like, hey, fuck you. There we go, should be good to go. Game better took the credit. He was exiled and died in poverty. Your faith sours. What of loyalty? Shared stories round the hearth. Warm nights, bodies, and the tender love of another. There are some who are worthy. A scant few that tower above the solid mass. Men and women of vision and valor. Sigurd is one such man. He is. Fulke isn't wrong on that score. I fear for him, Basim. I cannot rest until he's safe. Nor will I, my friend. The practice of learning has waned considerably in England since the days of the Romans. What books they still have, they keep locked away in their churches, hidden from the eyes of common folk. Uh, knowledge Trolls is power. and Charles cannot read. What would be the point? They could learn. The church could teach them. So much of human history would be open to them. Aristotle, Pythagoras, Euclid, ancient knowledge lost to all but a few hard-headed men of the cloth. You have studied these works yourself? In my youth, I was consumed with a passion for understanding. I spent many hours a day in the House of Wisdom in Baghdad. A seminary? A great library full of the greatest learning of mankind. For a boy seeking answers, it holds many riches. One day, oh. I was sitting cross-legged, devouring a study by the great astronomer Al Khwarizmi. With the swiftness belying his years, the papers were plucked from my grasp by the great man himself. His presence stole my voice. He was kind and open-hearted. He showed me such scientific wonders. And what did you learn there? Calendars and calculations placing the sun, moon, and five planets. Equations that crackled and sparkled with divine intelligence. I asked the great man, is this what it is to know God? You saw your God's hand in the rooms. I found wisdom, and I have been searching for more ever since. There is great vastness outside ourselves, Eivor. Most only notice a few grains of sand, but some, like Sigurd. Oh my brother! Die! I think I killed it, this guy's brother. Oh, cat treat will do. God, the way she just scarpers out of her bed is ridiculous. There you go, some treats for you, my dear. She really likes these bloody things. Go! Most only notice a few grains of sand. But some, like Sigurd, I believe, see the endless flow of the hourglass. What you see in Sigurd? Is this what Fulke sees as well? I believe it is. We will find no friends in Canterbury, so try not to draw ah. attention. Okay. Well, you're the one this who's bad at giving it, drawing attention. Of priests. This land of summer, mists, and forests, 
dreaming darkly. I see secrets, and I want to know England. We've already oh, had that entire conversation. And we had it rounds on us at every turn, snarling like a cornered dog. I begin to despair of ever settling here. Best raise my hood here. And yet it rounds on us at every turn, snarling like a cornered dog. I begin to despair of ever settling here. Perhaps the stars light your path, and you will never have a home here. Do you miss the land of your... This place swarms with focused people. Sigurd will be well guarded. Caution and subtlety should be our path. Okay. Ready? Follow me. We'll try our best to, you know, do the whole caution and subtlety sort of thing. Best not to draw attention here. give us her sanctum she baits us cocksure and arrogant but she cannot see failure in her path her fearful wit would say otherwise Chastise me like a child, Basim. I guard you like a father. Nothing is served with your brutal end. You have much to do in this land. I know it. More riddles, sly tongue. No riddles. I sense a greatness within you. Know. Your destiny is not to stain the stones of this godhouse with your blood. If she's still here. I will burn this Christ house to the ground. Okay. Looks like trouble. It's on a guard below us, okay. Basm. Very cathedral. find a way in oh hello Bastard. I had to smash those six guys. the 
that way. here. Oh. Down here, perhaps. This must be the way to Fulke's sanctum. Then let us go. Oh, my great hip. It's riddled with the stench of her. Help me, Basim. Sigurd is within. It's gonna get sprung any moment. Fulke! I'm here! Face me! Have a care, Avon. So much for an element surprise. Hands. What does it mean, these word tangles that speak of elves and demons? Elves and demons? What? Saga's an inscription as read by Sigurd. I don't speak whatever the hell that is. Details on the Order of the Ancients. Fulke ranks high among them, but is not the head. By Odin, this is a sick tapestry she wove. For every drop of his blood she spilled, I will take a meat horn more. Hang on, let's read this for a second. Um, I throw myself at the strange language the Emperor Louis uh, bade me decipher, yet all my knowledge of the Ancient Ones and their artifacts falls short of shredding even the thinnest ray of light upon the beautiful script. Louis uh, tells me these words come from the etching scene transcribed by young man Palatinus, the days of Charlemagne, oh, in the days of Charlemagne's own recite, but Louis does not know... Uh, where in the well the original inscription was discovered? On the temple, a tomb, a slab of rock? Impossible to say. Again and again I consult the keystone in my possession, searching for correlations uh, between it and the words copied from the etching. Yet nothing, uh, yet nothing obtains. Not be a surprise, the keystone itself is a mere fragment brought, uh, brought, oh, a mere fragment brought, I am told, from Norway by an invader Ragnar Lothbrok. For what reason, um, for that reason I call it the Saga Stone. Did he know the true value of the object he carried? The curious discovery I've come into possession of a man bearing the mark of an ancient ones upon his neck. A tremble of what, uh, could, uh, this could mean. Could it be an ancient one reborn, or a child of such one, designed to make an appearance after so many centuries? I've heard stories of one called, I, uh, uh yeah, uh, Ada reborn. But this man is not have the, the telltale eyes yeah that's the the sage that's ada uh the wife of uh juno or the husband of juno sorry i'll do all i can to probe this man for hidden trip mysteries luck the language of the ancient ones will be open to me the gospel of mary magdalene hmm plans to the great fortress in Wessex. Is there something here we can use to breach it? That could come in handy. Sigurd. That's a lot of blood.
me that you found something. Anything we can use! I may have. A fortress in Sussex. The order trained soldiers there. We must be sure. Secret is running out of time. That's Sigurd's arm? Why would they cut off Sigurd's arm? Anything else? Documents of interest to the Hidden Ones. Hytham will surely want to look. But for Sigurd, Porchester is our only lead. <sighs> if okay. he's in Porchester Castle, we'll need a massive army to crack its walls. I have many friends in England now. If I call on them, they will come. They will. Basim. She severed his arm clean off. Can a man survive such a loss? He can if it's treated immediately. Mentally, it's hard to say. So much stress can drive a man to despair. If you suggest he might take his own life as Tepnan did, banish that idea. I must tell my people at the settlement that their Jarl remains a captive. They will not take it well. No, nope, we especially not fucking, uh, dag. I scout ahead and send word to the settlement when I know more of Porchester. Be ready. Uh, bugger. Off limits. No? Okay. Gives us a chance to actually look around Canterbury. Oh, hang on. Before we leave this place, maybe we should actually use the, the viewpoint at the very top. I wait have to run all the way back. from up here. Got the amphitheater and a little floor and everything. Is that a giant snake? Hold up. That's a giant snake. Why is there a giant snake? Why? I don't approve of this. Oh, mate, show your face. 